Hey everyone, Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4 and today what I want to show you is some freewheel hubs that I've designed up which are basically the same as these hubs that come on the back of your regular RC four-wheel drive wheels but what these are is they accept a bearing rather than your hex adapter so these are designed specifically for a 5x11 by 4 millimeter bearing and it just sits inside of there so basically what this allows your wheel to do is like in the name spin freely I have an example right here don't mind the long screws those are only for assembling the wheel but I didn't end up replacing those so here's our standard wheel and here's our free wheel I guess you could call it Basically, they're exactly the same design as the RC four-wheel drive one, except uh, the main difference, they don't accept a hex adapter. There's another piece that also comes along with these parts right here, which is the spacer. And what this does is it makes up for the gap between the bearing in the back here, as well as the wheel that will go on top of this. So I can show you on this wheel here. If we were to tighten a wheel nut down on this right now, it would put the clamping force on the face of the wheel, which is not what we would want because eventually over time, this wheel could spin and loosen the wheel nut or uh, just the wheel nut being on there could not allow this wheel to turn if it were on a locked axle shaft. So the spacer rests on the inside part of that bearing and as you can see, there's a small gap there and then your wheel nut goes down on top of that. So you can go ahead, pop this on. The bearing part is designed for the five millimeter shaft and then this uh, spacer is designed to go over the four millimeter threaded shaft that is on basically every scale truck out there. But it was mainly, the main purpose is for trailers so that you can get a nice smooth rolling action don't want to go too tight with these simply for the reason that I could not get it so that the screws or the back of this hub would not rub on the knuckle what I could have done is used a smaller bearing size and then machine this differently that would work just fine however uh, these are the bearings that I had so that's what I machined it for as you can see it spins freely here but it is rubbing a little bit so loosen that but So really smooth, there's a little bit of wobble just because I don't think the tire is balanced perfectly. I just kind of threw this together quickly, but a lot of the slop is in my steering knuckles. So pardon that. But I just thought I would go ahead and show this to you guys. These parts, uh, I'm not using them. I'm not building a trailer or anything yet. I might in the future with these, but I just thought I would show you. I thought I would show you guys these parts because I'm shipping them out uh, in the next couple of days here, probably to somebody else that needs them for an RC four wheel drive trailer. So hopefully, I can get some pictures from him and maybe show you guys. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.